Hi there, uh, this is Andrew Wise again. Um, I wanted to add a note to these videos that I'm doing uh, for the Glee Forever Young version. Uh, in several places I refer to the uh, Ultimate Guitar tab, uh, and in doing this process, trying to play it through, I realized that the Ultimate tab, uh, Ultimate uh, Guitar tab, is okay, but there are a number of mistakes on it. So I'm going to produce my own tab, and I will put it up with, uh, I'll put a link to it uh, up on the site with the videos so that people aren't uh, trying to work their way through the mistakes in addition to um, uh, working through the song. For now, there probably is enough on the videos for you to get started on the song. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks very much. This is Andrew Wise. Uh, I'm making a series of videos to help my guitar students, but uh, I'm putting them up there for anyone to use. Uh, I'm doing, uh, in this series, videos on how to play the Forever Young, which was originally done by Rod Stewart, uh, which was done on Glee. Um, it was just picked by my wife, who's one of my students. Uh, and uh, I'm splitting the videos up into several. Uh, I already have up uh, a video on the basics of uh, how you start playing guitar, how you hold your pick, how you practice, uh, uh, how you strum. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, the uh, how you hold the chords, how you switch between them, uh, the strumming pattern in this uh, that we're using in this particular song. And then I'm going to have a couple pure play-along videos because I think that's the easiest and best way to practice. And I think it's easiest if all you have is the play-along and you can uh, uh, play it uh, without interruption of the basics, which we're going to cover right now. So, and then I'm going to have a uh, harder uh, play-along video that's more like the version uh, uh, that was on Glee and the version that Rod Stewart does. Um, so, uh, there are only four chords in this song, and for anybody who, uh, wants to, um, uh, wants to get a transcription, I got this from the Ultimate Guitar, uh, tabs archive, ultimate-guitar.com, uh, and, uh, it's a good version, and that's what I'm using. Uh, the capo is on the third fret. Um, and the four chords are A suspended second, D suspended second, B minor suspended fourth, and F sharp minor seventh suspended fourth. Now you can uh, do the regular chords A, D, B minor, and uh, B sharp, F sharp minor seventh, uh, but actually the song will be a lot harder and it certainly won't sound the way that they did it on Glee. Uh, so this is actually the easy version, and you barely have to move your fingers, which is great. So, uh, if you look at my left hand on the guitar, I've got the capo on the uh, uh, third fret, um, and I like these kinds of uh, um, uh, vice capos, I guess they're, that's what they look like anyway. And you would do, do an A uh, chord with your three fingers uh, on the uh, D, G, and B string, and an A suspended second is you lift your uh, ring finger off of the uh, uh, B string. So it sounds like this. Then the D suspended uh, chord is just like a D, only you lift your middle finger off of the high E string. And it sounds like this. Then the B minor uh, suspended fourth is um, like this. Now there's a mistake on the transcription that I have. The chord diagram uh, indicates that you should put your um, index finger on the A string third fret and your middle finger on the G string uh, third fret. Uh, only that's wrong. It sounds like this if you do it like that. And that's not a chord. Well, it's a discord chord. Uh, actually, they need to be slid back one fret so that your index finger is on the uh, A string making a B, which tells you it's a B minor chord. 
and your uh, middle finger is on the G string of the second fret, and it sounds like this. Much better. And then the final chord is the hardest chord. It's an F sharp minor seventh suspended fourth. Uh, and um, you do that by putting your uh, index finger on the G string at the second fret and your either your ring finger or your pinky finger, and I think once we're into the song, you're going to find that it's easier to do your pinky, um, but well, you can do whatever you like, um, on the D string at the fourth fret, and it sounds like this. And the, uh, the A suspended chord, you play five strings, and a trick, uh, a clue to what strings you play for any given chord is that typically the lowest note in the chord, the bass note, the root note, is the note, the name of the chord. So this is the A string open, and so that's a D, an A suspended second, the D. You play the D open, and uh, three strings above that. The B minor suspended, when you press on the second fret of the A string, you get a B, and so that's the lowest pitch string that you play, so you play the five strings on that. And then the F sharp minor seventh suspended fourth, um, this string becomes uh, F sharp um, when you fret it on the fourth fret, um, and so you play these four strings. All right. So now the switching. Uh, if you use these two fingers, the, um, and I realize I might be doing a root gesture to some cultures, I apologize. The uh, index finger is uh, on the D string and the middle finger is on the G string. Um, and you get that sound. So then uh, the most common switch is between this and the D suspended fourth. So you can do this a couple of ways. One way is to go fully into the D, which means lifting your fingers up and then sliding down into the D form, but just leaving your middle finger off of it. However, it's actually easier if you leave your middle finger in place and put your ring finger down on the third fret of the B string. Uh, and if you do this form throughout the song, you never have to lift up your middle finger. And that makes life a lot easier, especially for beginners, because it gives you a sense of where your hand is at all times and you don't get confused. So the first switch is between the A suspended second and the D suspended second, and you can do that trick. And then you can go right back and put, lift up your uh, ring finger and put down back down your index finger to make the a suspended second uh, chord uh, again uh, after your uh, when you go back to the A suspended second. Um, later on in the song, you switch between the A suspended second and the B minor suspended fourth. And uh, the easiest way to do that, if you're holding the A like this, is to merely lift up your index finger and move it up from the D string to the second fret of the fifth string, the A string, and making a B minor chord. And then uh, after that, you go into the D. And to do that, the easiest way to do that uh, between the B minor and the D chord is to um, uh, lift up your index finger, leave your middle finger in place, and put your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And that gets the D. So again, your middle finger never moves. And then after, immediately after that, you switch into the uh, F sharp minor seventh chord. And there are a couple of ways that you can do this. The easiest way, I think, even though you have to use your pinky, which many f people find difficult, but you have to do it eventually, so you might as well learn it here, is to leave your middle finger in place. Most people will not be able to effectively reach with their uh, ring finger to the fourth fret there. I can't, certainly. Um, uh, so instead, I move my pinky up to the fourth uh, fret of the D string 
and you still have your middle finger in place and then after that you go back to the D, leave your middle finger in place, put your uh, ring finger down on the third fret of the B string. So uh, that's all there is to uh, the chord switching. Hopefully that little tutorial helps you out. Uh, and